So Paramount has officially revealed the brand new Knuckles TV show and it's set to be released in late April of this year. And I can't lie, it looks way better than I expected. Almost everyone from the main movie cast seems to be featured in this show. It seems that the main focus of this show, however, will of course be Knuckles and Donut Lord's partner, Wade. Now when this show was first rumored and we were told that this show was going to be focused on Wade especially, I had no idea how this show would go. I originally thought that it was going to be Knuckles and Wade going solo the entire way and everyone else in the Wachowski house are just doing their own thing. But man was I wrong. Now talking about the actual trailer itself, there are a lot of cool references and little things they did that got me hooked onto the show already. One thing I can already pick up is the animation of the characters being a lot more animated compared to their theatrical look. I don't know, it would make a lot more sense if that was the case considering this is a TV show rather than a full length movie. So having more animation on the rigs of the characters seems to be a lot more fitting for sure. Before moving on to things like references and such that I found, rewatching the trailer, it has occurred to me how Sonic looks a little bit more mature than how he does in the movies. And by that I mean that his chest looks a lot more developed than when we last saw him. I think I might just be crazy in the head, but I feel like they aged up his model a teensy tiny bit. Maybe Father Donut Lord actually taught Sonic the meaning of responsibility after all, despite not returning for this show and rather the third movie. Oh well, how long it's been in the cinematic universe since Sonic 2 is anyone's guess. But it will be very interesting to see when the full movie comes out. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean the full show comes out in April. Now some of the references that I caught within this trailer is of course the Knuckles Go post which is basically a homage to the classic Sonic games and Knuckles' cowboy hat from the Sonic OVA movie. I was not expecting this one but you know what it's a pleasant surprise to see Jeff Fowler actually adding stuff in from things people wouldn't really expect. Actually I'm interested how they're going to introduce this cowboy hat. Is it just going to be like he randomly finds it somewhere and just be like Yep, this is my hat, I love it, and I'm going to use it on my journey to greatness, or whatever the story's gonna be, I don't exactly know. But we do know there's a new main villain happening here, and apparently they're related, or they were in cahoots with Robotnik. Speaking of the new villains, we have confirmation that Kid Cudi is going to be an actual villain in this new spinoff show. He is apparently going to be one of the goons working for the main big bad that was apparently friends or I guess in cahoots with Robotnik. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of chuckled when he just repeated Knuckles' line from the second movie. I don't know, I just found that kind of funny, don't judge. Now call me crazy, but when we saw that bowling alley, like those scenes with the bowling alley, you know where we see Kid Cudi fighting Knuckles and stuff like that, call me crazy, but I feel like the color scheme of that arcade is a homage to the Knuckles Chaotix title screen. Now I may just be spitballing on this one, but I genuinely think they got inspo for that, because if you compare those two, they look so similar color wise, but that's just my theory, okay? Next, we have another unexpected guest, which is apparently Pachacamac from Sonic Adventure, aka T. Call's father. So, um, why is he here? I mean, it's gonna be interesting when they talk about it in the show, but does this also mean we might have a potential T. Call reference? Or possibly she might be in the show? Mm, we're just gonna have to find out. And the last two things that I really caught on with is the fact that Knuckles is fiery fist. I feel like that's just a reference to Frontiers. And the thing he does at the end, that little drill boost dash thing, I feel that's also a Frontiers reference based on the Final Horizon update we got for Sonic Frontiers recently last year. Anyway, that's all I really picked up from this trailer, but there could always be something that I missed, so we'll just have to wait and see. I honestly didn't expect Kid Cudi to be playing a more villainous character in this show at all. When we first heard that he was going to be in this show, I thought it was going to be like a background character or like a one episode thingy. Man, my early predictions were just so dead wrong. Ultimately, the Knuckles TV show looks amazing. This is going to be a great appetizer before the main dish Sonic 3 in December. Until then, comment on your favorite moment of Knuckles the Echidna if you made it this far, and I'll see you all in the next video. Stay safe and take care.